political chatter. In this video, we will be talking about how Donald Trump is prepared to skip the first Republican presidential debate and how big that is. Um, this article is going to um, uh, make me get out. But um, this uh, headline is true. I mean, his supporters are urging him to skip this presidential debate. Um, this is what he said. Am I going to be standing there um, by guys at 1, 2, or 3%? Anyway, let's get off here. Um, and on that note, Trump asked his uh, audience in Erie, Pennsylvania. He held a massive rally on Saturday. And everyone, of course, they're going to say what he has said in the past. And they, and when he asked if he should debate, they all yelled no. His supporters do not want him to, to debate. And um, this is very important for obvious reasons. Um, I mean, a huge part of this is um, the number of viewers in this debate, because take someone like Vivek Ramaswamy, who is trying to get his name out there and is uh, very appealing too much of too many Republican voters. Well, you would want that debate to get your word out, to get what you want to say out, to get your name out. But with Trump not in the debate, um, I, well, okay, I should not have started on this. Um, I mean, well, to finish that, there will be less viewers because Trump isn't there. But I should start out with, it's not like Trump declined to debate, okay? But he has, I'm making this video, after um, um, Trump just made a post on Truth Social. I don't have it up, but he did make a post on Truth Social. Um, and, I mean, he has made many. One was um, someone said, um, instead of debating, you should do a one-on-one -on -one interview with Tucker Carlson. And he, like, retruthed that, like, retweeted it and said, many are saying this, blah, blah, blah. So... Um, he is definitely hinting towards not debating, and I don't think he does. Chris Christie has repeatedly said that he thinks Trump will eventually debate, will eventually agree to debate because, because of his ego, but I would not be so certain when he's making comments like that on Truth Social, when he's asking his audience in Erie, Pennsylvania, if he should debate, and then, you know yelling no, all, literally all of them, um, you know, when he's doing stuff like that, I just don't see it happening, I don't think, and I mean, Trump is a smart guy, he knows that he, um, doesn't have to, so, now getting into what I was talking about before, um, with viewership, I mean, as I was saying, Vivek Ramaswamy is someone who wants to get his name out, who would be very appealing to much of the Republican base. Whoa, they changed Trump's picture. That is not a flattering picture. Wow, I bet that gets changed real quick. Anyway, these um, people in the debate, it's looking like Perry Johnson will probably qualify, which would be insane. He's at 23,000 donors. Um, people like, you know, Perry Johnson, Doug Burgum has qualified. He's someone who needs to get his name out there. People like that, they need Trump in it. Yes, sure, Trump is a good debater, but it's not like he's going to take them down, number one, because they're such minor candidates. Number two, um, they need Trump in there because that adds so many more viewers to this debate. I mean, it will not be viewed as much or talked about as much if Trump is not in the debate. So many people will watch it for Trump. It's just going to be like a like a minor candidates type of thing, if Trump isn't there. Secondly, what makes this so important is that Ron DeSantis said, I don't have anything up, but Ron DeSantis said a few weeks ago that he will not debate if Trump doesn't debate. So, let's say Trump doesn't debate, it's looking like Trump won't debate. Then, I don't know why. I mean, this I could see the candidate going against their word. I could see DeSantis, you know, even without Trump, I could see DeSantis getting in there and debating. It makes sense to me. I don't know why he wouldn't debate, especially if Trump is there. He shouldn't, 
not want Trump to be in. Because Trump is obviously going to destroy DeSantis in the debate. I mean, you know, that would just be kind of funny to watch. I mean, he would just absolutely destroy DeSantis. Anyway, um, but let's just say DeSantis does keep his word. And then Trump and DeSantis aren't in. Who do we have? We have a debate between Doug Burgum, Chris Christie, Nikki Haley, probably Perry Johnson. Probably Mike Pence, Vivek, Scott, and that's it. Who would want to see a debate between those people? No one. It would be, remember in 2016, Republicans held a quote-unquote minor candidates debate between like four people. It was like George Pataki, Lindsey Graham, Bobby uh, Jindal. No one viewed that debate. It was before the real one. And no one watched it. It was like, it got recognition because no one watched the minor candidates debate in 2016. So looking at 2024, if Trump isn't in it, and then DeSantis doesn't even decide to do it, the debate is pointless. Pointless, because no one is watching it. No one is watching Doug Burgum go after Chris Christie, and Chris Christie go after Nikki Haley and Tim Scott just being there and Vivek attacking Mike Pence for not being, you know, for not defending Trump. I mean, it would just be such a waste of time to watch because all these candidates are one, two, three, four, five percenters. Um, so that could change up the whole thing for a lot of these candidates because, I mean, If Trump and DeSantis don't debate, then Vivek is, you know, he is running on getting to the debates, which he has. He is running on getting to the debate to spread his message. Sure, he will be in a debate, but that debate will not be important if Trump keeps his word and DeSantis keeps his word. Because no one will be watching the debate. And we could see a lot of candidates drop out after it. But I will say that... I I don't even blame Trump. I mean, if you are Trump and you're looking at this field, if you're looking at this race, and you're saying to yourself, oh, I have 52% to DeSantis's, uh 15%, that's a plus 37 point lead for Trump, looking at that and saying, um, I don't need to debate. I mean... Yeah, sure, us uh, politic enjoyers might hate it because we won't have a debate to watch on August. I mean, we will, but not an exciting debate to watch on August 23rd. But it completely makes sense for Trump. I mean, yes, he will be hated on for a week or two, but it would make sure that there aren't any excitements. I mean, realistically... Of course, DeSantis won't prove anything in the debate, but I keep bringing up Vivek, and I do think that Vivek, who's now in third place overall ahead of Pence, I think that Vivek could have a moment, and maybe Vivek could uh, put up some type of real challenge against Trump in the debate. But Trump, sure, being hated on for a week or two, but after that, you know, Throughout it, it makes sure, or it makes sure that there isn't anything crazy. That you know that nothing crazy or exciting happens. So, um, that's you know what Trump is thinking, and it makes really total sense. Um, I hope that's not the case, obviously, because debates are good. Voters should have a chance to hear from all the candidates. But, yeah, it would be really sad if Trump doesn't do this. Um, And, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, That is just for the first debate note, though. Who knows, maybe later on, if it's just Trump and DeSantis left, maybe after the first one, maybe a second or third or fourth debate will be held just between Trump and DeSantis, and that Trump would absolutely do because he knows he would destroy DeSantis. Or maybe it's like Trump 
DeSantis and Scott, Tim Scott left, or maybe Trump, DeSantis, and Nikki Haley left, or Chris Christie, probably. Um, who knows? Only time will tell. I will give you all updates, but I really don't think that Trump will be in this debate, which is definitely sad. So thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That'd be great. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.